Today I'm going to show you how to load first class server software onto your computer. All right. So what you need to do and what we have set up here is you're going to go to mail.dfrcec Diocese of Fall River Catholic Education Conference dot com. <coughs> and when you do that, it should bring you to our first class server page. Now, don't worry if you're wondering where your email went. All of the email that you've had is going to be kept for the next six months and it's all stored on a server that's going to be at archive.dfrcec.com. All right. Now, if you read through this, you can actually, in this first set here, actually shows you, you can actually go without loading the software onto your computer and you can go visit your email. You do not want to do that. All right. You want to, down here, download the software that will allow you to view uh, first class using the whole interface. It's a much better situation. All right, so you click on that second one to download and it gives you a choice of operating system. If you have a Mac, download the Mac. If you have a Windows machine, download Windows. And if you have Linux, download Linux. So you're going to click on Windows. And now there is an interesting thing here with this page where it says step one and step two. Those are not buttons. All right, if you look at the end of the first sentence it says to download the 10.0 Windows client, click here. Then you want to click on the word here. All right, and when it clicks, it's going to open up a download window like this. And I usually just save it to my desktop and it downloads. All right. Now, I'm very, very impatient individual, so I've actually already done this. It's sitting on my computer right now. So, but that's what you would do. You would save it. And you probably will get some message saying, are you sure you want to save this because, you know, I'm Windows and I want to take care of you. All right. So, what you're going to do is you're going to minimize the screen and then you're going to go to the download window right here and you're going to click on it and it's going to open up the installer. All right. Now, this is a fairly large file. It takes a little while. You're going to run it and it's going to go through the process. All right. So we are going to wait a couple seconds because I do think it's worthwhile for you to see this. And it's thinking about it. There we go. All right. And it's 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 installing it. All right. And it's going to go through these stages. All right. And you just click on next. Yes, I agree. Approve. Now, this first this question is something you might want to ask yourself. Most people at home that I know don't have separate logins from different family members. Um, it, so it, it doesn't really matter what you put here. If you do have separate logins and you only want you to be able to access the first class, then you leave the first, then you click the second button. If you don't care, let's face it, you're not going to be giving out your password, so you probably don't have to worry about your family members. Anybody who uses computers, the first button, you can just click on that and just leave it the way it is. Um, if you have any questions about that, come and see me. All right, and then we go choose destination location and it's going to create its own folder called first class on the program folder. I typically add a menu to the thing, the start menu, and as you can see from looking, I really like putting things on my desktop, so I am going to put a shortcut on the desktop and just click next. And it's going to it's going to upload. Da 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 da. da. All right, and it will probably open actually. Now, after it's open, there is a very very important step and second step that you have to take, which is you have to um, configure it for use here. Uh, on your computer. And that's what this guy here does. It's actually trying to open right now, but we're going to fix that right now. We're going to go to step two. Now what step two is going to do is going to add all the appropriate addresses that we use. So where it says for infam um, for once the installation is called completed, click here. Okay, right there. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to say, do you want this to get into your registry and change things? Yeah, we do because it's it's going to set up the program the way we want it to be. All right, and you notice when it comes up, it says now it says server fc.dfrcec.com. That has our mail server. So I'm going to type in my username and password. By the way, you do not, for your username, any long have to put your full email address. It's just your username, okay, like you were logging into your computer at school. And then you hit the button. Uh, there we go, and it's busy trying to load in. And first class should open up for us. And there you go. You get the you get the pretty first class interface. And we're going to be talking about how this interface works a little bit later on. Okay. If you do want to get back to your old email, all right. And I'm going to conclude this right now because I think it's kind of an important thing to do. I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to go back here. I'm exiting. I'm going to go back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our archive, which is A R C H I V E dot 
dfr cec dot com and that brings you to your old server I'm hoping this works I assume and it should bring me to my old email um, I am going to strongly suggest that you do check your old email at least once because you may have new emails all right and um, especially now with the end of the quarter parents might be sending you something it is possible that something went into your email server all right and there we go Mary Pat uh, a couple of other different things here okay so there you go all right and I'm gonna just leave you off with this if you have any other questions you I'm going to be you ask them and I may try putting some more tutorials up